An improperly disconnected car battery, that's what the NTSB says, sparked a massive fire that caused an explosion aboard a car carrier ship at Blunt Island last year, injuring multiple firefighters. The News 4 Jack's I team has now obtained the agency's findings from the investigation. The fire burned for more than a week, causing about $40 million in damage. News 4 Jack's reporter Renee Beninati has been digging into this accident report. And Renee, this was not the only problem they discovered. Mary, it was not. The report says procedures like properly disconnecting and securing those batteries were not followed. And this is one of several missteps NTSB noted. Now the agency is calling for changes to policies with the shipping company to on a federal level to try to prevent something like this from happening again. This was a scene as crews worked to put out a massive fire aboard the Hogue Shaman in June 2020. More than a year and a half later, we're finding out what caused this. A 70-page NTSB report revealing the fire was sparked by an improperly disconnected battery in one of the 2,400 cars on board the carrier. The findings state, quote, the loading personnel and vessel crew missed opportunities to address these hazards. Plus, once the fire broke out, the response was delayed. Investigators say at the time the ship's fire detection system was offline. The captain said he did not know how to report the fire to local authorities, who to call, what number to dial, or what frequency to use according to the documents. The report says the first 911 call was made close to 30 minutes after smoke was seen by a witness on shore. The ship burned for more than a week, causing about $40 million in damage. None of the 21 crew members on board were hurt, but nine Jacksonville firefighters were hurt by an explosion caused by the blaze they were battling. The NTSB made recommendations based on this investigation. That includes more training and oversight when it comes to vehicle loading and tighter regulations for vehicle carriers, especially those moving used cars. The agency also recommended that this company revise their procedures when it comes to fire systems and access to emergency contact information.